Yo, yo. Aurelia just got back from Mexico. Aurelia nigga just got back from Me Mexico. Hey, hey. Here I go. Ooh, hang here, you can get back, man. Here I go. Ooh, ooh. Hey, hey, I don't know what to tell you. I'm only on two hours of sleep. I may just be saying whatever the fuck I want to say, but this is straight truth. This is a real nigga coming back from Mexico City. There, I take out my wallet out of my motherfucking pocket because I just came back. I still got uh, pesos in my motherfucking wallet, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you want me to do? I can't even do nothing with that shit no more. So, I just landed in Mexico City. And nigga, I'm already angry. Viva Aerial Bus, we got some problems. First off, y'all niggas charged me $65 for a can of Fanta and some Doritos. Y'all think I would've paid that for that shit if I knew it was $65? The fuck wrong with y'all? A six hour flight with no entertainment, no refreshments. Nigga, can I get a phone charger? And y'all service sucks? Oh, nigga, what? Bitches can't give me no service, but can check to see if the fucking light shade is up. You can't check if my seatbelt is on? Damn, I could die. Bruh, let me tell you, Mexico City, Mexico City, Mexico City. I mean, it's like, where do you begin? You know what I'm saying? It's like every every day you meet somebody new who's just super dope to hang out with. And I, I don't even... Mexico drippy, Mexico drippy. I don't even know like where to begin. Like, just all the different people I met and all the culmination of... It's the nightlife, baby. Yo, this is Tuesday night. Tuesday. Everything that happened of being on top of a pyramid and people taking pictures with you and <laughs> running to all the black people and getting their head nodding saying what's good or being in the club and niggas buy you mojito and you know what I'm saying? It's just shit just crazy, bro. You just be out there living life, walking. You know, this really isn't a good time for me to do the angry educated black man, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. I hate to be in this mode, I hate to be in this mode, but fuck these hoes, nigga! A young, charming-ass nigga bring your ass to the motherfucking bar and you making out with some lame-ass white dude? Really? Really? Nigga! Check the drip! I'm out of here, man. I really wasn't gonna be angry about shit today, but fuck these hoes. All I wanted to do is come on here and have you just feel my energy right now, because that's all. That's all I can give you. It's been two hours of sleep. I hopped onto the motherfucking flight, went through, you know, all of Mexico cities. So this is Mezcal. That's dangerous. Maybe after I go to sleep and re-edit some of this, I'll cut some of it out. But right now, I think I should just give you raw feelings. And raw feelings is like, it's a, it's an energy that I feel in me. I got my own soundtrack. It's lit. Oh my gosh, are you okay, sir? All right, a nigga back, a nigga back. Vibes, the sun, melanin. Oh, look, they got Gandhi. Good old racist bastard. They not like black people. What is an angry, educated black man angry about today in Mexico City? So why am I angry? Because people just keep staring in my face. Like, nigga, everybody keeps staring in my face. Like, I get it, I understand. Maybe you haven't seen black people before. I understand, it's all good. But it's just, it's a little awkward for me. It's just a little, a little strange. But it's not harmful. You know, it's just like they've never seen black people. So it's just like, oh, who is this guy? We've never seen anybody who looks like this before. You know, even the little kids just be looking. You know, I'm not really, I'm not really tripping. It's just the old dudes who be staring in my face and look like they ready to just hang a nigga. Like, damn, bro. Get your eyes out of my eyes, damn. I mean, even now, people still looking at me. I mean, when I was on top of the pyramids, I meditated on them bitches for a good hour. And I just feel like that energy has just flowed with me everywhere I've gone. I mean, even on the angry rants of whatever I was complaining about or... As Mexico City! What is the angry, educated black man angry about today? Sonora Grill, I mean, it never outweighed the people that I met. It never outweighed the experiences that I had. Can't fuck with you niggas, I'm sorry. And never I wait me walking and seeing these amazing architecture or or exhibits or just my god. Y'all know they was black, don't forget that. 
like just feeling these people's energy and just knowing that they're prideful about being motherfucking Mexican. And I appreciated that, goddammit. I felt a pride there. I felt a culture. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Mexico, what's up, nigga? Hold up, I gotta hit y'all with some views. I gotta hit y'all with some views. The city is just beautiful. Magnificent, nigga. Anyway, I'm sure you're wondering why a nigga's angry today. And you know what? I'm actually not that angry. My spirit is filled. I feel like it was just a great day, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like we just need to, we need to travel more. We need to learn more. We just need to, we need to get our spirits in a position where we can just expand and we can travel to different places and we can meet new people and we can just be ourselves, man. Like, look at this guy right here. He is inspired. He's inspired about the Lord and speaking and preaching. That's his truth. I just want us to find our truth and speak it, live it, feel it. You know, I feel good. I feel whole, pure. Let's get there. You know what I'm saying, niggas out here, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? I felt that entire energy throughout the entire experience that I was out there. Oof, nigga, the struggle is real. These stairs are something serious. Whether it was me being a, a frissa or whatever they want to call it, I was being bougie, basically. Motherfuckers ain't got no air conditioning out there, motherfucker. Damn. It's 85 degrees, I'm on the fourth floor, motherfucker, I need some air conditioning. Ain't no fan gonna help me, nigga. I live in New York City, and got a motherfucking AC unit, nigga. Y'all gonna give me an AC unit in this bitch, nigga. So what is the angry, educated black man angry about today? In Mexico City, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Where are the blunt wraps? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Those call me bougie because I wanted to go stay in somewhere where I had some air conditioning. Like, yeah, nigga, it's 85 motherfucking degrees. I don't give a damn. It's hot, nigga. I need some AC. So, you know, hot from one hood to the next. How in the fuck am I supposed to smoke my weed with no blunt wraps? Where are the blunt wraps? Where are the papers? Where are something? I've had weed for three days and haven't even been able to smoke that shit because I have nothing to wrap it in. The weed don't even look good. I'm not excited about smoking the weed. I don't even want to smoke weed while I'm on vacation. But damn it, can I find a fucking blunt wrap? Just one. Just one blunt wrap. I just want to smoke once. Damn. Come on, Mexico City. I love you, but where are the blunt wraps? Damn, papers. Zigzags, something, nigga. Damn. And that hood I hopped to had all types of skaters and you know what I'm saying different types of art exhibits I could check out. So work. Yo, the architecture here is crazy, bro. That was dope just being in that neighborhood. And then I went to Frida's neighborhood and you know had some dope ass mango ice cream. The food. Well, I mean I have a sensitive stomach anyway, but. I think the last meal really gave me the runs, but other than that, all the food was great. But you know what I'm saying? We got the runs in New Orleans. I get the runs wherever I go. You know what I'm saying? That's probably too much information, but we just have sensitive stomachs in our family, so it is what it is. So I don't want to hear none of those uh, uh, rumors that are dispelled about their food. The food was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Every place I went to had great food. I'm not even going uh, halfway front. Tacos amazing. <laughs> Who oh, boy, somebody to set the angry educated black man the fuck off. Let me tell you about bullshit ass Sonora Grill, this racist ass motherfucking establishment, a vende presidente. Now, first of all, these motherfuckers act like I didn't even have a reservation. Oh, do you have a reservation here? Yeah, motherfucker, I got a reservation, so fall your fuck ass back. Then this motherfucker hovering over me 24-7. I can't even fucking breathe without this motherfucking asking, what do you need now? What do you need now? How about you get the fuck out of my face and let me eat? Then the motherfucker who's supposed to speak English, I point to an $80 glass of sangria, get the motherfucking bill and I got 350 on there. So I gotta go back and forth with your ass about how you can't fucking read me pointing to something and when you brought the picture out and I was looking at y'all crazy cause the motherfucker didn't speak English, y'all should've went back and talked to your manager, dumbass. Which brings us to the worst part. These motherfuckers asked me to leave seven times. I'm fucking sitting in the restaurant looking at the rest of y'all motherfuckers not say shit to them. I even went over to another table and asked them did they say that shit to them. And they did not. So you know what? Fuck ass Sonora Grill, you can kiss my black ass. Y'all can suck a dick and don't nobody go there. Fuck ass. He drove me there, he told me it was $300 and I tested it on my phone, checked the motherfucking stats and it said that it, it was nine miles so it should have been like 160 pesos. This motherfucker charged me 300 I was pissed. I mean, it could have been an airport fee, maybe extra 40, 50, but damn, 300. And I went back and forth with him a little bit on the little Google Translate. But at the end of the day, he gave him $300 and then he thanked the guy. I was like, man, get the fuck out of here thinking that Catholic, whoever the fuck you thinking with that damn prayer, motherfucker. You hustle me. You know what the fuck you did. God didn't help you, nigga. I gave you that $300, nigga. 
Hell, if I spoke Spanish, nigga, you would've got $100, $150, and that would've been it. That's why I'm gonna watch motherfucking Avengers in Spanish. So I have Spanish on y'all niggas. Uh-huh. Y'all think I'm some dumb foreigner? Hit y'all niggas with that. Wah, 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 wah. Ah, ah, bendejo. Ah, gotcha, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all niggas. But anyway, that was the one time that I got hustled. <laughs>